All right, welcome back to another Art of War 3 replay. I'm your host, John Cena, and today we're going to be doing a clan 2v2 battle. I'm going to be partnered with Harry Dog, who is going to be the blue player, and I'm going to be the green player. So let's go ahead and get into it. This is going to be a clan versus clan battle. We're going to be facing off against two rank 18 players from the Figli d'Italia clan, which is a top 100 medals clan. Let's see how this battle pans out. So we got some early game scouting going on, trying to collect those containers for resources and base development. We're getting a scout onto the orange player's base. We can see that there's some fortress production happening. Meanwhile, the large containers have spawned onto the battlefield. We're getting a scout onto the orange player. We can see that orange has still yet to tech up beyond HQ2. So, we're just continuing to move units to reinforce the large containers. Harry Dog's got a lot more assaults than I do on the map. Here comes a fortress from the orange player. The fortress has weapon superiority, but Harry Dog's got a lot of assaults here, and Harry Dog's gonna be able to clean up that fortress. Meanwhile, my assaults just finished up capturing the large container. Purple's moving in with some assaults and fortresses. I'm gonna have to pull back. This is too many units for me to fight at this stage of the battle. So meanwhile, I'm teching up to HQ3. Harry Dog is already HQ3, has just finished putting down a 6th and 7th supply center. We got a little bit of scouting going on onto our base here. I'm going to drop down a bunker just as a precaution to deny scouting and have some basic defense. I've also got a hammer out, and that hammer is just to do a little bit of exploration. We can see here that Purple's got a decent sized assault force that's just going to position themselves between my base and the purple player's base. As so, it uh, serves a couple different purposes. One, to deny scouting, and two, to capture any future large containers that spawn in. Harry Dog's continuing to deploy some additional infrastructure down. I've got a cyclone now. I'm gonna go ahead and scout out the back of the base. Let's see what purple's up to. We can see that purple is still only HQ2, which is pretty surprising considering that both purple and orange are rank 18 players, so we're definitely ahead of purple in terms of base development. Let's go ahead and swing over to the orange player's base. Let's see what they're up to. Orange is also still only HQ2, so looks like we have the tech advantage right now and the economy advantage, so it's definitely something we want to try and take advantage of. So my cyclone is just moving towards the top plateau in the far right corner. Just gonna let it hang out there for now. And here comes Purple moving in a small force again to clean up my scout there and deny visual of the front of Purple's base. Harry Dog continuing to upgrade infrastructure. And look at this, we've got an X facility coming down. So we're, it looks like we may see some special units coming in, some heroes from Harry Dog. I'm continuing to put down some infrastructure. We can see that I've got another power plant coming down. I've also got a rocket tower just in case Purple decides to try a rush on me. Here's my hammer, engaging in some combat with Purple's hammer. I'm gonna go ahead and pull my hammer back from the Purple player, and we're gonna move off the plateau here. So I'm starting to get some Zeus out. My plan right now is to go for a ground army. Here comes some Vertex from Harry Dog. They're gonna clean up a fortress. They're gonna clean up two fortresses, or I should say that second fortress takes some damage, and looks like Harry Dog's getting some nice visual on the battlefield. That fortress now gets cleaned up. My Cyclone's coming down here to engage some infantry. Looks like Orange is moving some infantry onto the plateau. A large container just spawned onto the map. My Cyclone is not going to be able to fight these infantry by itself, so I'm going to go ahead and pull back. Harry Dog's got a couple Vertex, though, and they're just going to provide some damage and harassment onto the Orange player. And we can see on the left-hand side of the screen, Harry Dog's now starting to move in an infantry army. This is a lot of infantry coming in from Harry Dog, kind of spread out, but the number superiority is going to work out here for Harry Dog. We see a Zeus coming in for Harry Dog. Looks like the orange player has a Typhoon for some anti-air. It's not going to be quite enough though to take out my Cyclone immediately uh, because my Cyclone's got decent upgrades. Meanwhile, Purple's got a decent force encampment in the middle, just finished capturing that large container. I am okay with that. My plan is not to go for that container, but rather to build up my HQ3 army. So, we can see Harry Dog dishing out some good damage onto the purple player. 
And we can see that Purple is dropping down some defensive structures at the front entrance. So I can't go and attack through the front entrance. I'm going to need to move around the side and attack from the side if I want to optimize the use of the forces. Harry Dog's done a good job. They're capturing the large container. A couple hammers moving in from the orange player. Let's see what they're up to. We got three hammers so far from the orange player. This might be a light scout from the orange player just to see what Harry Dog is up to. And those Zeus tanks are firing onto the hammers and the vertex are coming in as well. Those hammers are gonna get cleaned up, no problem. Harry Dog now dishing out some damage onto that bunker. And Harry Dog's gonna be able to take out that bunker. We got anti-air firing on the vertex, but it's not super strong, so it looks like Harry Dog's going to risk it a little bit and come in for an attack. He's gonna take out an anti-air tower. And it's gonna dish out damage onto a second anti-air tower. Looks like he is very close to cleaning up that anti-air tower. Still taking damage from those typhoons. That anti-air tower is going to go down, but Harry Dog is going to lose some vertex in the process. Meanwhile, I've got a cyclone on the plateau, and it looks like we got a hammer from the purple player on the plateau. I'm going to go ahead and clean that up with my cyclone before moving my ground army onto the plateau to attack from the side. So, in addition to my main composition of Zeus and Torrents, I'm also going to mix in some fire assaults and heavy assaults just to have a little bit of infantry for variety. So we can see that Harry Dog is now teching up to HQ4 as I'm moving in onto the purple player. We can see purple is deploying a bunker at the side entrance and with this scout on a purple player we can see that they've got an Avia factory and an airfield so Looks like we should be expecting some Vertex out of purple pretty soon here. So I made a mistake here of not including some Typhoon in my Assault Force. So I'm going to need to move quickly because if purple gets a full group of Vertex now, he's going to be able to counter my Assault pretty easily. Harry Dog continuing to dish out damage with his Vertex. Meanwhile, I've got my coins deployed in a nice formation on the top of the plateau. And I'm going to be able to rain down fire from my position. There's a Vertex though coming in from the purple player. So we're going to clean up that one Zeus. And I'm going to move my Zeus off the plateau. We're going to make a push for that airfield. Let's see if we can take out that bunker now. And move on to the airfield. So we're going to be able to finish off that bunker. And we're going to start moving towards the back of the purple player's base. That Vertex is continuing to dish out some good damage onto my units. Looks like Purple is prioritizing trying to take out my Torrents. Meanwhile, I've got my Zeus at the airfield. We're going to start firing on that airfield. Airfield is going to go down, so we're going to put a pause onto the Vertex production. Now I've got to fight these units on the ground. This is a lot of ground units. I don't have enough infantry mixed in. But I've got these Torrents, and these Torrents are really helping out with dishing out some good damage. I've only got four Zeus tanks left, though, and I'm taking some heavy damage. Here comes the Orange player. Coming in to help out and defend, I am not going to be able to fight off both armies at the same time. My Zeus tanks are going to get cleaned up, so right now I'm just focused on trying to dish out as much damage as I can and keep both purple and orange occupied with this assault. And you can see on the left hand side of my screen, I just captured a large container. Orange is now moving onto the plateau. My unit is going to attack. I'm going to try to see if I can hold down these units to capture the resources my heavy assault would not stay in the resource container area and i am just going to barely miss out on capturing this third container and it looks like orange is just streaming in there's no way i'm going to be able to counter that i'm going to need to rebuild my army so at this point i'm already hq4 so i should have the tech advantage to be able to just continue to build a nice ground army meanwhile we can see harry dog now moving in with a Seraphim, a Cerberus, and a big ground army consisting of infantry and Zeus tanks. Let's see what kind of damage we can do here. And this is the Seraphim in action here. We got infantry streaming in for Harry Dog. Harry Dog now dishing out some good damage. He's taking out a bunker. And Harry Dog's going to continue to press onto the Orange player. This is good timing because Orange had to move some of their units to help defend Purple, so they don't have their full command points to help with defending. Despite this though, Vertex are coming in from the Purple player to help with uh, taking out some of these units. Harry Dog doesn't have any anti-air on hand either, 
he's going to be able to take out an Avia factory and some other infrastructure and takes out an assault vehicle factory. So, doing some good damage so far, but Harry Dog's assault is also starting to lose some steam here. He's only got a handful of infantry left, and this is not going to be a problem at all for the purple and orange player to clean up. So meanwhile, Harry Dog's got some reinforcements streaming in, but these reinforcements are a little bit staggered out, so uh, Harry Dog's going to be taking some more casualties here. I don't think these reinforcements are going to be able to do too much in terms of damage. Looks like they're going to get cleaned up by Orange. So we got some Vertex flying over, so I've realized that I need to change my army composition, so... I'm continuing to produce Zeus tanks, but now I'm going to also mix in some Torrents and Typhoons. I'm not just going to go for Torrents. Harry Dog continuing to tech up his infrastructure. And we got a Vertex on patrol there. We see a Cerberus coming in, so Cerberus looks like he's going to join my army for this next assault. Let's see what happens in our next engagement. We got a lot of infantry and a Zeus tank from the orange player. I make that two Zeus tanks. I've got a lot of heavy armor though and torrents though and my army is going to just be able to shred orange's ground forces. Purple is coming in with vertex though to help out. Those vertex are dishing out some good damage. I've got a couple typhoons firing on those vertex though so at least my typhoons are providing a little bit of coverage but it's not going to be enough. Meanwhile though orange's army has been fully cleaned up so now orange is on the defensive Orange has very few units left. We see a couple torrents providing fire onto my units. We see the Cerberus running in to the front and dishing out some damage. But I think that Cerberus is going to go down. Looks like that Cerberus is going to get cleaned up. So now I've only got a handful of Zeus tanks moving onto the Orange player's base. But Orange only has the one Zeus tank defending that assault vehicle factory. I'm going to be able to clean up that Zeus and now I'm going to try and see if I can level this assault vehicle factory to cripple part of Orange's production. These Vertex though are making it very difficult. My units are continuing to get cleaned up and they're taking a lot of damage so looks like that assault was not fully successful. We were able to dish out some decent damage though. Here comes a Seraphim from Harry Dog. Seraphim putting on some fire down onto the area and we can see the punishment warheads bringing down some good damage onto that anti-air tower. Uh, I actually flag a point on the map. I tell Harry Dog that we should regroup at the area a little bit further away from Orange's base, make sure we group up a nice big army, and then make another push. So, got another group of troops here coming up. Harry Dog's Vertex dishing out some damage onto that assault vehicle factory. And looks like we got an attack in the back here from the purple player. We got a hammer, some infantry, and a couple Zeus tanks though, so it's not that big of an assault, thankfully. But Harry Dog's gonna have to move some troops over there to defend. So he's got a couple Zeus tanks and the vertex firing, so it should be okay. I put on an air raid boost to combat these vertexes. This time I've got a lot more typhoons here, so the typhoons are dishing out really good damage against those vertex. So defense against these vertex is going to be no problem. There's one Zeus tank from the orange player moving onto the plateau behind me. I'm just going to go ahead and move onto the orange player's base. Here we go. I've only got four Zeus tanks though. This is not a lot of ground troops. I'm going to need more potentially if we're going to be able to fully break the orange player. Meanwhile, Harry Dog's forces, they've finished cleaning up that Zeus tank and they're going to move onto the plateau to capture that large container. My Zeus tanks now putting some fire onto the Orange player's base. Orange is desperately trying to produce units to defend against my assault. I've only got four Zeus tanks and a torrent to dish out damage on the ground, but my Typhoons are making sure that I am able to deny air power from the purple player. So this is not looking good for the Orange player. I'm gonna be able to take out this airfield it looks like. Here comes purple though. Purple's moving some ground troops up the middle of the map towards my base. I'm going to have to divert some forces over to defend against Purple's attack. So it looks like we're fighting a battle on two fronts here. Orange is desperately dropping walls now and has just lost an Avia factory. My tanks are slowly moving in on Orange. Meanwhile, my Zeus tanks here are doing a great job defending against Purple's attack. 
Purple's units were just straggling in and was not quite organized, so Purple was not able to fully optimize their assault force. Meanwhile, here comes Harry Dog though, coming in with another Seraphim, a lot of infantry and a Cerberus. So we've got a lot of ground troops finally moving in on Orange's base. Here comes another Vertex to dish out some more damage. Orange is desperately still trying to drop production structures to produce units to defend. This is way too many units though for Orange. Orange is in trouble. There is no way that Orange is going to be able to fend this off. He's going to need a miracle if he's going to be able to make this comeback. That tier 4 HQ is going to go down and it's another supply center is going to go down. And Harry Dog and I's units are just continuing to slowly destroy the rest of Orange's base here. So, meanwhile, I've got some Zeus tanks moving in onto the left-hand side of the purple player's base. I don't expect these five Zeus tanks to do that much damage. I just want to put some pressure onto the purple player's base. And here we go. We have just finished cleaning up the rest of Orange's base. Meanwhile, my Zeus tanks here are dishing out some damage, but they're not going to do too much considering that they don't have air support and Purple is able to reinforce from their base. But it's not going to matter. We have a huge ground army moving in onto the right-hand side of Purple's base. The Seraphim is putting some good damage onto that construction yard. We can see with its main guns and the punishment warheads that it's going to be able to clean that construction yard up, no problem. Vertex coming in now from Harry Dog. And now our ground troops are just pouring into the right side of the map. We're hitting that headquarters now. And Purple's trying to still produce units to defend, but we are well inside Purple's base. There are no defenses here. We can see a lightning bolt symbol on the airfield. Airfield is low power. Here comes a last ditch attack though from the Purple player. So me, luckily for me, I've got a couple bunkers, a rocket tower, and plenty of ground units left to spare to defend. Meanwhile, Purple doesn't have the same luxury. Their base is just continuing to get cleaned up and demolished. The Zeus tanks now just continuing to put damage onto the Purple player's base. We see another volley of the Punishment Warheads from the Seraphim. And this is pretty much the end of the game for the Purple player. Here comes the Cyclone from Purple. That is not going to be enough. It's going to get cleaned up. So you can see on the minimap, I flag an area on the minimap, and that is to indicate that Orange had actually attempted to rebuild their base. So what we're going to do here is we're going to finish cleaning up the rest of Purple's base, and once Purple is fully cleaned up, we will regroup and then move on to the Orange player's base. So I got a Typhoon here. I'm just going to send the Typhoon in to scout, and we can see that... Uh, Orange is HQ3, has three barracks for heavy assault production, and has five supply centers and a couple of power plants. So uh, this is actually some decent infrastructure given the amount of time that Orange has had to try and rebuild. Uh, it is definitely not going to be enough though. I've got a bunch of Typhoons and Zeus tanks. The Typhoons are not going to be very useful in this scenario because there's no aircraft to shoot, but that's okay. So I'm just moving my Typhoons around to uh, let the heavy assaults target them instead of the Zeus tanks while my Zeus tanks dish out damage. Infantry now moving in for an airy dog to reinforce my Zeus tanks. And this is just too much for the orange player. Orange only has a couple bears for heavy assault production. This is way too many units to defend off. So this is gonna be a slow but gradual death for the orange player. So rest of this video is pretty much us just cleaning up the orange player. Uh, this is my first battle with the heroes in use by a partner and we can see through this video there's definitely some benefits to integrating heroes into your army but heroes themselves are not invincible. You need to provide them with some good support and if you do so they will definitely have good combat utility. Look at this purple trying to rebuild an HQ but it is going to be in vain. We're going to be able to clean that HQ up. All right. It's pretty much the end of the battle. Hope you all enjoyed the footage of the heroes in play. We will see you in the next battle.